good morning students how are you are you keeping fine okay today we learn the poem the listeners the listeners page number 126 all of you take your book and see the page 126 the poem the listeners this poem is written by walter d la mer walter d la mer let me introduce about the poet see the poet walter d la mer born was born on 1873 and died on 1956 he was an english poet he wrote short story and he is a novelist he is best known for his works for children he has written many books for the children so he is best known for his works of children the listener is said to be his most famous poem so our poem is it's a famous poem of walter d la mere okay let me uh, introduce that the glossary champed all of you pronounce the word champed it means bit and chewed upon nice satthama mennu saapradhu ferny consisting of flourless plants adavadhu chediyila poove poogada thavaram adukku peru enna solradhu fanny next word turret a small tower that project that projects from the wall of a building turret a small tower that projects from the wall of a building or sewer layo or building layo or chinna da or ota mari irukum adukku per da enadhu turret next is smooth knock loudly sattama tattrudhu sill a horizontal piece of timber beneath a window or a door or door layo or kadavu layo or jannal layo or chinna da piece of putta vandu adiyila vechirupanga adukku per da sill perplexed confused kolappamana nilai thronging crowding crowding na or kootama irukku hawking listening attentively adhaan romba gavanama kekkadukku per da hawking okay let me read the poem see the stay in this have you walked anywhere alone or lonely if you walk lonely if anybody comes at the back of you how do you feel the same thing only the feel the lonely feel that is the our poem explains let me read the poem is there anybody there said the traveler yara irukrangala appin traveler travel na or payanam seyvaru avar long travel or kaattukulleyo alagum or malai pakkamo or poraaru appi pokumbodhu or edathila nindi yara irukke irukkeengala appin kekkar is there anybody there said the traveler knocking on the moonlit door and his horse avar vandu edhila nama prayanam pandraarna or kudireyla pakkathula paral padathula paarunga or kudirey horse he is traveling by a horse and his horse in the silence champed the grasses avar payanam sendu poittukumbodhu and kudirey vandu pakkathula nippati paaru avar vandu pasikku and kudirey ku vandu pasikku adanal avan ukkar ka grass vandu and fanny flower flowerless poove illada and thavaratha vandu and kudira vandu meduva mennu saapidu and his horse in the silence champed the grasses of the forest fanny flower என்ன சாப்பிடுதுனா அந்த கிரவுண்டில் அந்த ஃப்ளோர் தரையில் உள்ள அந்த ஃப்ளார்லெஸ் பிளான்ட்டை அது மென்று சாப்பிடுது அண்ட் ஏ பேர்டு ஃப்ளூ அப் அவுட் ஆஃப் த சேர் அது நான் சின்ன ஒரு பில்டிங்கில் வந்து ஒரு சின்ன ஓட்டை மாதிரி இருக்குல்ல அங்கே வந்து அதுக்கு மேலே என்ன செய்யுது அந்த ட்ராவலருக்கு மேலே ட்ராவலர் வந்து கதவை தட்டுறாரு அவர் தலைக்கு மேலே ஒரு பேர்டு வந்து பறக்குது சரியா இந்த ஃபோ எகெயின் வீ கேன் பீ திஸ் five lines 1 2 3 5 lines only we can be five lines is the memory lines tomorrow you must learn the poem memory memory is there anybody there said the traveler knocking on the moonlit door and his horse in the silence 
champ the grasses what does the horse champ the grasses of the forest fanny flew and a bird which is flew up a bird is flew up of the forest fanny flew and a bird flew up out of the turret above the travelers head and the bird enga parakudu and the traveler paramela parakudu sariya pa so okay these five lines is the memory poem and next i introduce the word the rhyming words traveler do the last word of the first line the second line the last word do so traveler do these are rhyming words next grasses turret head these lines is not the rhyming words okay tomorrow your homework is you must learn the bow poem by heart this five first five lines thank you